In this video, we're going to cover adding a prepackaged flower item into our inventory. Let's select the plus symbol at the top right of the page. This will bring up our Add New Inventory Item window. As you can see, our category is going to be Bulk Flower. Let's start by clicking on the Bulk Flower and selecting Flower Prepackaged from the dropdown. All of the fields we see in this window with the asterisk are going to be required to be filled out before we can add the flower package into our inventory. The first required field is our package tag number. If you're in a metric state, this will be required for reporting your sales to metric. If you're not in a metric state, we can leave this field blank. In this case, I'm going to add a package tag in this field. Now, let's add our batch number and our batch date. Next, we're going to associate this package with a supplier license number. If you recall, we added our suppliers back in phase one. When I select the supplier license, I'll have a drop down of suppliers. If you don't see the supplier you're looking for initially, begin typing the name in to populate that specific supplier. Next, we're going to select our strain name. Once we've selected a strain, we're going to associate that with a price profile. We're now going to navigate to the bottom of the window to the Assign Inventory to Room section. I personally like to begin by selecting the Weight Unit option first. Once this has been selected, we're going to see all the different weights we can prepackage our flower into. At the far bottom of this will be our joints. We'll cover creating joints in the next video. For this example, we're going to select eights. Next, we're going to add the number of eights that we want to add along with which room we want them in. Our last field will be the cost per unit. This cost field is going to be the total cost of the three and a half grams along with the packaging and any labor we would want to include in the cost. Now let's select save and close. We'll then see this item populate in our inventory. If you're not seeing the item, let's make sure to select the status all filter at the top and select in store option from the dropdown. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page, filled in the required fields, associated a quantity, and added an item into our inventory. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, Click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task. 